Many people wonder if vitamin D is a miracle drug. Um, I can't say that it is per se, but it does hold a lot of functions. Uh, vitamin D is well known to help uh, prevent and treat osteoporosis. Uh, it also decreases the risk of cancer, specifically colon, breast, and prostate. Uh, it stimulates the immune system. It improves cardiovascular function. Uh, it improves neuromuscular tone and therefore decreased risk of falls and fractures. It decreases inflammation, and it may decrease all risk of mortality. Uh, so certainly vitamin D does hold a lot of promise. People wonder how we get vitamin D. Well, vitamin D is the only vitamin that we can synthesize in our own bodies. Uh, sunlight that strikes our skin will form vitamin D. It then passes through our liver and then again through our kidney to become an active uh, form of vitamin D. As far as foods go, there's only a few f good sources of foods that will provide enough vitamin D. Um, one is fish, uh, specifically tuna, salmon, mackerel, and sardines, uh, as well as cod liver oil is a very good source for vitamin D. Uh, milk, margarine, orange juice, uh, and cereals are fortified with vitamin D as well. And then there's the supplements, and your multivitamin will give you 400 units, uh, and a specific vitamin D will either give you 400 or 800 international units of vitamin D. People wonder how much vitamin D is enough. Uh, first of all, we think that 20 to 30 minutes, two to three times a week of sun exposure involving your arms, legs, and a portion of your torso may provide the enough, enough vitamin D for you. Uh, as far as oral vitamin D, you may require anywhere from as little as 400 international units to as much as 50,000 uh, per week. And your doctor will determine the amount that you need. Now, too much vitamin is not good either. Uh, too much vitamin could cause hypercalcemia, kidney stones, constipation, and confusion. So you always have to be careful about not taking too much. People wonder what's the difference between insufficiency and deficiency in vitamin D. Deficiency is defined as less than 20 nanograms per milliliter or a severe loss of vitamin D. For that, the physician will often order large amounts of vitamin D such as 50,000 units once a week uh, and then reevaluate in three to six months. When people are insufficient in vitamin D, it's a less of a severe uh, loss of vitamin D. It's defined as 20 to 30 nanograms per milliliter, and that can be replaced by as little as 800 to 1,000 international units of vitamin D uh, per day, and then reevaluated in three to six months. Now, for prevention, it's recommended that we use 800 international units of vitamin D on a daily basis um, for treatment. People wonder if there's some easy sign or way to find out if they're vitamin D deficient. Unfortunately, there's no early warning signs of vitamin D deficiency. Serum calciums, which are usually on uh, broad-based screenings, do not uh, really reflect whether or not you have a vitamin D deficiency. Because when you're low in vitamin D, your parathyroid gland will increase your serum calcium and therefore you may not notice it on a blood screening test. People who need to be screened for vitamin D, certainly the homebound, the institutionalized, um, the malabsorption type patient, and certainly the severe osteopenic or osteoporotic um, person needs to be screened for vitamin D. Um, there is a simple blood test that Elmhurst Memorial Hospital can perform uh, to determine if you're vitamin D deficient.